It's what we do to all the uh, all the all the hip hop albums that come out that are coming from artists that that could really make that at least have a foot in the in the door and are really okay. you know, making a lot of noise. Get so, to the point. G-B. I know, I know, I know. G-B. I got I got set up the the the, 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 the stand stuff. So between Cardi and and, and Nicki, right now Cardi's is is definitely hands on the down. Definitely hands now, down. Now now give me why. Why do you feel that way? No, I'm. I I, I think I'm with you on this one. I, I I do enjoy when artists are real with themselves and they put themselves out there unapologetically. And that's what you do. That's what you do. Cause I listened to some of your music. <laughs> you. I did. Don't be offended. It's just science. I I I listened to a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? And <sighs> be honest with you. Okay. When I listened to Magnum, I was trying to figure out what was going on. I'll, I'll be honest. I was trying to figure out whether he was talking about an actual Magnum. Right. What what they use when they think they're big, but they really not. Right. Or if he was talking about something colossal, something right. that's bigger than me, something that's bigger than you. I, I didn't know. The next song after what that, I understood that song. Right. And right. Because I didn't understand that song, that made me want to bring you on my show even more. Because I didn't understand what you were saying, and that's rare. Because I'm a Scorpio, okay? <laughs> Which means I understand everything. Whether it's low, high, deep, l- deep, shallow, whatever. I get it. But Magnum, I didn't get. But before you get into Magnum, I want to talk <laughs> about how we met. Because to be honest, you wouldn't even be here if you didn't come up to me at the open mic. No, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I didn't have him at the open mic. He wasn't on the roster, Nikki Diamond. He wasn't on the roster. I was hosting the open mic. I was on the mic. Woo, woo, woo. I was walking through the crowd. This man with the church suit on <laughs> came up and said, "I rap. You know, I rap too." He hit he hit the hustle and flow when uh Terrence Howard went to jail. <laughs> and they was like, you know, we rap too. They called me Fibo. They called me Lil Fibo. I mean, yeah, like I, he came I, up I, to me on some some groupie shit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's how you nah, came so, up to me. Nah, nah, so I'm gonna put it out. So get it out. So so first off, shout, shout out to my boy Stevon. Uh, the I, guy that was with yeah, you, yeah, the, the dude that was with me. Yeah, he, he initiated it. Yeah, he did. Um, Cause I saw so, his eye contact first. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's real. That's real. So I, I wouldn't have uh, been able to to at least get your attention without him. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't say groupie, but I was like, you was you was also groupie I mean, shit. Yeah, Let's be no, real. Let's, let's, I didn't even know who the fuck you was. <laughs> no, that's real. Not that's real. This no, that's he real. Did. He I, came up to me. I was walking through the crowd because you know I was doing my thing. Y'all know how I am. Perky, loud, in the crowd. Here he comes. So you know I rap too, right? <laughs> I said, oh, for real? He was like, yeah. He was like, we exchanged the numbers while I got the damn mic in my hand. <laughs> but to me, it was worth it because he had gumption enough and guts enough to come up to me and say, hey, this is what I do. Either you're with it or you're not. I love that. I love that because anybody could have came and approached me. Anybody could have said anything, and you came up and you let me know, hey, I'm relevant. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. And I respect that. Still trying to figure out about Magnum. <laughs> no, uh, I, I can explain it to you. It's, it's, okay, it's, no, it's, it's fun. no, we have Magnum here. Right. We have talked about how we met. Tell me your interpretation of Magnum when you wrote it because. This is the only song I've been doing this for six weeks now. <laughs> this is the only song that has stopped me. So please right. tell me. All right. So uh, George with the Magnum. Um, it's a uh, it's a reference to uh, Dawn of the Dead with um, oh no Dust Till Dawn with uh, George Clooney and uh, some some other dude. Uh, I can't remember his name. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the movie. Yeah, the vampire. Movie. Now, on the cover of the movie, George yeah. Clooney is holding yeah, a magnum. Sorry, Nikki, you gonna be like, what the fuck? He, he's holding a magnum, a magnum on the cover. At all, so, <laughs> so the lyric. <laughs> um, damn, I'm trying to see if I can remember the joint, but the lyric is basically, "I'm George with the magnum on the cover, killing blood sucker after but, blood sucker when they try to take my style." Before so, we play this, this <laughs> is a Howard University alumni. Okay, he is studying law at Howard University. You see how he dressed? 
like Johnny Cochran's uncle. Okay. <laughs> That's him. We here. We listening. Diamond, let us hear Magnum. We all for it. We want to know about it. Let's hear Magnum. Yo, yo. Yeah. I'm in the dark alone with my art, taking my shot. Lil youngin with the high arc, part of my own style, but my profile steadily fading from memory. So I'm searching for my serenity, another joint. Rolling in my four corners, in between closed eyes, my worldview akin to a glass half full. While I do it with my mirror image, spilling myself. Cause these stigmas really got me hating myself. Self deprecating conversations just with myself. Through these issues that I'm facing, defacing my confidence, the ambiance full of fear while my pancreas breaking down liquid courage. Honestly, I feel nervous, breaking down through my verses, asking how is it worth it to break from traditions, to be an artiste with motifs that's always been founded in black foundations, like the ones. My sisters find hard to find in them beauty sections But this is melanin imported, recorded, assorted with them stories we've been through A box of chocolates when you consider life strife Can either break you or bring you closer to God I built a facade like a storefront cleaning money out the back Facade slinging amethyst rock liquefied in the pen I'm coming through in true DC fashion Straight slamming on these bammers if I must From dusk till dawn I'm George with the magnum On the cover killing bloodsucker after bloodsucker When they try to take my style when they try to take my style, I'm killing bloodsucker after bloodsucker. When they try to George with the Magnum, take my style. I said I'm George with the Magnum. They steadily trying to take my style, oh wow All the while, I've been sitting really on the prowl King of Wakanda style, flowing I be the now Plenty to go around, doubt you could last around I'm gonna be hers around, think it's the time now My presence is the gift, I'm just wrapping it up now Been dealing with dark clouds, put it all in the sound Waves beginning to drown, all of the pain now All of the pain now Waves beginning to drown, all of the pain now I said I'm George with the Magnum on the cover, killing blood sucker after blood sucker. I said I'm George with the Magnum on the cover, killing blood sucker after blood sucker. When they try to. Had a picture or uh no nah, we talking about it and you'll never talk on the show i'm tired of this they ain't gotta talk to you ain't gotta talk to them but you're gonna talk to me we got a picture okay we're best friends don't try to treat me like mean girls you know how they be on mean girls they can't sit with us <laughs> don't do that to me we're back gp the poet you heard that mac you know that magnum drop i'm gonna tell you something i'm a scorpio so i'm deep Okay, I didn't understand nothing the fuck that was going on in that song. I'm gonna be honest with you. I liked it. I thought it was, you know, some deep lyrical shit, but I understand it. Before I go into my questions, right. tell me a little, because I'm paying for extra time, because my producer don't play that shit. Tell me a little bit more about Magnum, because I, I was lost, and, yeah. and, and I'm never lost. Yeah, no, 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 I mean... Like I said, it's just uh, uh, a reference to um, George Clooney and uh, Dust Till Dawn, that vampire flick. The movie. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, the movie. He, he has a, a magnum on the cover of the... Of the All right. Yeah. All right. Don't be a finish. Just science. <laughs> it's my button. I got another question. Mm-hmm. I listen to your stuff. You know, contrary to what they believe, I didn't understand magnum. You know what I'm saying? I had a little trouble with that one. I did understand ITBA, and I know what that stands for because I did my homework. (laughs) But Mm -hmm. do you consider yourself a poet or a rapper? Mm. So, because you're GP the poet, that's your that's your your stage name, right? right, So, do you consider yourself a poet or a rapper? Because when I listen to you, I could. I could pick both. I could go either way. Mm-hmm. I got the beat. 
I got the lyrics. I got the feelings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no. So, wh- so which way are we going? Uh, I mean, I, I like to just really consider myself just uh, as an artist. I mean, I think uh, the poet, I just added it on just from, uh, I guess, from like a scholarly uh, uh, perspective because uh, in my family, you know. We have a I, caller. Oh, snap. I don't get callers often. I'm excited. <laughs> Fix my butterfly. Hold on, is it? Thank you. Butterfly Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm doing well. I'm watching um I'm watching in right now and GP sounds like a pretty dope dope artist, but I guess I wanna know where he's from and I guess how that has inspired I wanna know um, who you are <laughs> before we get into all that. What's your name? Oh <laughs> Abigail Francis. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, my name is Abigail Francis, and okay. I am um, a hustle student as well. Okay, so hey, hey, so gang. so GP <laughs> answer her question. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, GP the poet. In case you ain't know it, from DC, uh, Northeast, um, by way of Moco, uh, Wheat in Maryland. Uh, Wheat, what else? Mm, Wheat, Wheat, Silver Spring, and the, the hardest place out here. <laughs> Definitely um, not the hottest place. No, no, no it's, it's, it's really, it's really it's, no, no, it's really, it's, it's far from, far from. But um, yeah, uh, just being um, wow. Uh, a lot of the times, most of the time, I spent doing a lot of academic work, doing a lot of school work. Um, it's definitely been uh, worth it, and I think me being in those spaces have. Uh, you know, really helped me to articulate how I feel and add on the, just to go back to your question, yeah. why um, I, I consider and, my, I call myself GP the poet. And that's what I wanted to get at yeah. because when you told me that you were at Howard University, that you were an alumni, that you were in your final year as a lawyer, ladies and gentlemen, he's studying to be a lawyer. Nikki, I don't know if you knew, Diamond, I don't know if you knew, he's a lawyer. He's this minutes away from being a lawyer. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying to you? Like, that's major. That's major. And what's crazy is he's sitting on my stage as an artist. So my next question is, don't be offended. It's just science. What do you really want to do? Because, let me talk. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead, go ahead. I know, sir, your parents, your parents feel like you need something to, to stand stand strong on you need a backbone you need to go to school you need to do this you need to do that is this what you really want to do or is the music is do you feel do you feel the music do you feel the artist part of you are you doing it are you doing the lawyer thing because that's what you want to do because when i listen to this i hear something entirely different than what's sitting in front of me so I'm confused, and I'm not confused. <laughs> well, for well, for the record, I I didn't plan on wearing this here. He did. I, nah, for real, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I you know I, I had work uh, today, nine to lawyer work. <laughs> yeah, at my internship. You need to holler at uh <laughs> uh Tris. Uh, 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 what's it? we have another I'm caller, call. ladies and gentlemen. Hello, caller. Are you there? They not there. Continue. Hello, caller. Are you there? We ain't got time for that. Again. Yeah. Listen, you totally threw me off. And I don't know if you saw my hashtags. I know Diamond saw my hashtags. Right. Those can be deceiving. Yeah. Look yeah, at yeah. you sitting in front of me. No, yeah, no. I. And, 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 <laughs> wait till he get up here. Oh, I'm going to bring him a new one. <laughs> but my point is. Don't judge nobody by how they look. Don't judge nobody about where they came from. It's all about where they going. You understand what I'm saying to you? So tell me a little bit about that. Tell the callers there. Caller, are you there? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's your name? Hey, what's your hey, name? What's up, Jess? Uh, this is Stevon, the, oh, the young man that you met first at the club. <laughs> okay. So do you have a question? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just want to say first, you know, uh, you're, you're running the bomb show. Uh, much love. You know, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate that. Um, so 
GP, I just wanted to know, uh, I'm, I'm really digging the Magnum concept. Uh, do you have any projects coming out anytime soon? Uh, yeah, um, so this is going to go off uh, Jess's question, too. So, um, no, nah, I, I definitely want to be an artist. Um, so, so the lawyer thing is just for the parents. I mean, it's it's it's, it's to live. It's to live. It's it's for the. <laughs> Hope they not watching. I mean, I, 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 look, we, I we, we spoken. We spoken. It's, I it's, it's, I just, you gotta get that paper. I get it. Go ahead. But um, uh, yeah. So uh, I do have uh, another I'm project. I'm um, <laughs> it's uh, actually coming out uh, when. Um, well, I don't want to say when I graduate, but. Very it soon. gotta be when you graduate because you got lawyer work. <laughs> right, right. He got but more it's, work it's, than it's, a motherfucker. It, it gotta there's be another. Uh, I have another project coming out. Um, look, let's give me soon. the saving. You look at him over there looking like Johnny Cox. <laughs> look. Oh, I didn't get a chance to finish telling why I came here like this. All right. So, so I came here like this because I had work, you know, through the day. Then I had class right after, and you know, it's all the way in DC, and it takes like an hour and a half, hour twenty to get out here. So, and I want to be on time. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. All right. That was my main question because I know how you're smart you are, and you you proved me right by showing up with this checker suit on, looking like you're from Augusta. You proved me right. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew you was going to prove me right. Just like Gino, but you know, over there, going to prove me right. And at least I know you black. I don't know what he is, but... What I do want to talk about is ITBA. That's that's mainly what I want to talk about. And he has a song. It's called ITBA. For all those who don't know what ITBA means, it's I think I'll be all right. And when I listened to the song, I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions about the song. Okay? The verse... The, the the line that said hardest critic in the room can't sleep at night mm-hmm. what were you meaning when you said that because i honestly know what you mean now when you told me you artist artistry is what you want to do right and not being a lawyer but you're smart enough to be a lawyer and i get that but hardest critic in the room can't sleep at night why can't you sleep at night i mean because i'm i'm busy critiquing myself like what what are you busy critiquing yourself or are you busy yearning for your dream and what you really want to do which well, is it well yeah i mean i'm I'm critiquing how i'm going about don't be offended it's just science you can be honest <laughs> on the show we're not gonna yeah, hold no, it against you no no it's all good i, I, I don't mind getting deep uh for no you can get a deep over here that's what we do you call me baby wendy <laughs> okay you was talking about suicide you was talking about homicide like yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna do no more talking. <laughs> Before we go to the song, yeah. GP, I want you to plug yourself and I want you to tell them where to find you, who you are, and where to find your music at. All right. So my name is GP the Poet. In case you ain't know it, you can find me at GP the Poet on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, you can find me on SoundCloud, uh, SoundCloud.com. Renaissance Thoughts. And you can find them at Howard University. <laughs> Getting that paper. Ladies and gentlemen, ITBA. I think I'll be all right. I just, um, I just need to be alone with my.